Greetings! It's Maxo Diddley. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can merge a branch into another branch and resolve merge conflicts in GitHub. Let's get right into it. So firstly, you're going to need GitHub Desktop. There's a link down in the description below for you to download and install it if you don't have it already. And once you have that and have your repo set up, you can now follow along. So I have got a main branch and I have another branch called Epic New Feature 2 where I've made a couple of changes. I've changed the frame rate and changed the set ID to burn in shadows. And this work is now done and I want to put it into my main branch. So let's do it. So we're going to go to my main branch and then we go up to branch and then we do merge into current branch. And we're going to click on Epic New Feature 2. And when we do this, we're going to see there will be two conflicted files when merging Epic New Feature 2 into main. And you might be thinking, oh no, it's going to go horribly wrong. No, it's not. You just need to look at the files before you do the merge to determine which version you want to keep. So let's click on Create a Merge Commit. And you're going to be given a situation here. You've got two conflicted files and you've got a few options. You can open in Notepad or if you click on the drop down arrow, you can just use one of the versions from one of your branches. So what we can do here is we can just click on the X for now and we can actually see the merge conflicts here in GitHub. And you can open it in Notepad++ if you want to, but you don't have to. So let's have a look at limit FPS. And when you're looking at a file with a merge conflict, you're going to see a few things. You're going to see a bunch of lines followed by the text head. And then you're going to see a bunch of equal signs on a line. And then you're going to see a bunch of arrows in the other direction, then the name of your other branch. So this head means the current branch we're in. In this case, it's our main branch. And anything up to that equals will be changes in the head branch that are conflicting with changes in our other branch. And anything below the equals will are changes in our other branch that conflict with the main branch. Basically, we've had we've changed the same thing on two branches, and GitHub doesn't know which one to use. That is why a merge conflict occurs. And these can get complicated. And basically right now we're just having a look to determine which version we want to keep. So as you can see here, the difference is I'm setting a value of target FPS to 60 in one branch, but I set it to 45 in another branch. And I'm keeping the example simple so it's easy to grasp. Basically, when we resolve this conflict, we need to decide do we want the 60 or the 45? When we do that, this conflict will be resolved. So this is good. And there are a few ways you can resolve a conflict. Like you can mess about with these ticks here if you want to. But I recommend something simpler if you're new to GitHub. Let's look at our static data to examine the changes again. So in our main branch, which is the head, which means the current branch we're working on, we have set a set ID to SWSH11. But in our Epic Feature 2 branch, we set it to SM3. So we have to now decide which version do we want. Do we want SWSH11 or SM3? And when you've looked through your files and determined which versions you want to keep, you can then click on View Conflicts. And here we can click on the drop down arrow and we can click on Use the modified file from main or use the modified file from Epic New Feature 2 or whatever the branch name is. Main and Epic New Feature 2 will be replaced with the names of the branch, which is why I love GitHub Desktop over other source control software because they might use current and theirs or other words that are confusing. Here you get the names of the branch, which make it really easy to understand. So I'm going to click on use the modified file from main because I want the frame rate from the main branch. And now you get a tick here. And for the other conflict, I'm going to use the modified file from Epic New Feature 2. And now you get two ticks, and then we can click on Commit Merge. And as you can see, we successfully now merged our Epic New Feature 2 branch into main, and we resolved the merge conflicts. 
And if you want to, you can click on push to origin to push it up to wherever your Git repo is stored, whether that be GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, or something else. And one other thing, there are other ways to resolve merge conflicts, especially if you have files that have multiple conflicts, you can go through the files and pick which versions you want to keep on each, but that's a lot more complicated and I wanted to keep this tutorial short because a lot of the times in my line of work when I encounter a merge commit, a merge conflict, it's normally I just want to use one version of a file over another and that's how you solve merge conflicts using GitHub Desktop. So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching!